what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start bar action. Get down in the leg holes here. You can use a screwdriver or a pencil. Make sure you get some down in there. In the leg holes. Rabbit tail is very, very tender. If you look at it crooked, it'll come off. So, you just kind of use some kind of a wire to get down. Push a little bit of that down in there. Okay, we've got the back feet. We're going to get those skinned all the way down to the ankle. So we take our knife. We already, we've already been through this once, remember? Do the other one. I want to make sure that we get the bone right down to the ankle here. Okay, so we got him all boraxed up, ready to go. Okay, so what we're, we're going to do now is we got to get the head put in here. We're going to get this thing turned inside out, okay? So we got his. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shorten this neck up a little bit. This is a, this is what we got right here. We got the head sitting on the neck. To me that's a little bit long for neck. I want to I want to go ahead and we're going to tilt that back a little bit. So the head is I want it upright a little bit more, so. So it's looking kinda. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this up a little bit, so. be bent over so and we'll trim this up to fit this uh, neck here and rib area okay let's see what she looks like there we go Only doesn't look so hot with just him sitting there like that, does it? But we're going to get him put in here. 
Okay, we're going to stuff the head on up in here. Okay. I'm going to get him up in the... I don't know. Isn't going to look so hot until we get him put together, but... Trying to get the head all up in here. Then we can get the head through the <laughs> neck opening here, which is we'll try to squeeze him through. You'll be careful pulling on these heads. See what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a little bit of a relief cut right down through the back here where I can sew it up. Right down there. Something like so there. And that'll give me just a little bit of room to get this head up in there. There we go. Okay. There we go. So we got the head up here and it looks like everything is going to be kind of copacetic. Just like that. I think that'll be alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the right <laughs> and left leg in. Front legs. So we'll get our front here. This is a, the right side here. We're going to put the right leg in first. You got to do these kind of quick because rabbit skins dry up. And you want to make sure that you get them in there the way they're supposed to go. Just like this. So... This will be to the outside. So I get it up in there. Feel around, get him started in the hole there. Now if you've made a mistake in, in uh, getting, you know, breaking it off or something like that, you can always go ahead and uh, put some clay in here. I'm trying to get this thing down on here, and, and I'm not having very good luck. Like I say, I'm going to try to stick a pencil in here and get that skin apart. Now, I know the pencil fits. So, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to go, go ahead and, and thin this up a little bit here. This is some trial and error here. Just, just kind of round it a little bit. There you go. Now we're going to put him in there. And almost turn this guy inside out. And Tell you what, he does not want to go in there all that well. But he's going. One way or the other, he's going to make it.
Now that first joint, now if you're really having problems, you can take that off, put a piece of wire in there and run some clay down the legs. But you know, I don't do I'm not gonna do that because I got a pretty darn good leg built right now. I'm really having trouble getting him in here. My hide is really drying out quick. I'm going to cut some more off here. I want to I want to make sure that I get this in there right, otherwise I might not get another chance at it before it dries up good. There we go. Well, I got him in the hole here. I'm pulling him down slow but sure. I'm almost right there. There we go. I got him right right down there. So I'm gonna get the hair right. Now he's gonna have a little bend in his leg there, which is okay. So now we'll go with the other one. Let's see. That's all, huh? Oh, let's see what the heck we got here. Just like that. So I know that this isn't going to fit like this, so what we're going to do is we're going to This is the leg I repaired earlier. I've got some uh, glue in her hair. We'll go ahead and just kind of round your edges off a little bit. Okay, so now we got the right one in, now we're going with the left one, and it'd be just like so. In fact, that's the way that goes. We're going to stick that one in first, this piece in, and uh, Let me get the pencil in there.
Okay. So I got that one in there. Plus, I got this here that has to go here. So. We'll make sure that we get this in there. But now, what we're going to do is we're going to get this body in here. Remember our arm here. This one on this side here. Now we've got to get this one in here. Now this might prove to be just a little bit tougher. If we can get it up in here, we'll be in good shape. I think we can. There we go. Got that. I'm going to put this one in. It's going to go. I'm going to get some thread and a needle out. A smaller needle. I don't want a big one. Something about like so. Get us some thread here. What I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to put this leg in here first. We got the rabbit here. We got the right leg. We're going to go ahead and get the right leg started here. Gonna get him in here. I'm going to cut this off just a little bit. That way I can get that started good. Now the, the leg is going to sit like this here. So we want to make sure that we get this leg in here the way it's supposed to go. Just like this. So we want to get this thread started here. And get us a... on both sides here. This is delicate work here. A rabbit, like I said, rabbits are just hard to do. So I don't suggest a rabbit for beginners. I just, uh, this is where the rabbit's going to sit. So, let's see. That's the way it's going to go, right like that. So we already got a thread through there. And we're going to go ahead and get it tied off the first knot anyway. That way I can kind of work my way up. Got to be very gentle. You don't pull these stitches out. Okay. Now we're just going to go up the way here. I'll show you. We're just gonna. I'm gonna get the skin spread apart here. The only good thing about a rabbit is they usually got a lot of hair, so you can end up hiding some mistakes. I should say. You have to pull that hair out of that that skin with your fingers like that. There we go. Clumsy fingers I got there. Well, we just keep working it around there. Just go ahead and stretch it a little bit as you go. Now you might have to have, have to have a spritzer bottle so you can get that hide wet little bit moisture in there to stretch it. Like I say, a rabbit hide dries off pretty darn quick. I'm 
using a three-sided needle. It kind of cuts through the skin too as you're pushing through. I'm going to tighten these stitches up here a little bit. That way I can... There we go. We're getting her. I'll be very careful tugging on this. I can't, can't tell you how careful you got to be because... If you aren't, you'll end up tearing it to pieces. Once you pull a few stitches loose, and you'll get the hang of how far you can go when you're, you're doing these. Stay in about an eighth of an inch from the edge when you're sewing up a squirrel or a rabbit. I might have to go get my spritzer bottle or end it up. Well, this stuff is drying out. I forgot how quick they dry out. I'm going to sit just like that, though. Anyway, if we just keep working at him here, just stay an eighth, the sixteenth to an eighth inch in. rabbits a little bit, but what the heck. wrapped around here a little bit so I can kind of get the hide to go where I want it to go. <laughs> well, we're getting there. Anyway, Got the back end sewed up here. What I'm doing now is I'm adjusting legs and that. I'm cutting some wire that I can use. I'm going to thread this I'm going to thread this wire up through the feet here I'm going to get into the foot go all the way through the foot I'm going to go through the foam that I made the leg out of And then I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get that into that other piece of foam that I got there. Oh. 
And what that's going to do is give me a little bit of stability on the leg here. So I can, I can go ahead and bend him the way I want. They kind of sit with their feet like that. Anyway, I'm going to get this wire in there. And that way, it'll be uh, good to go for, for getting that leg set anyway. Got to keep the wire straight, otherwise you end up going somewheres in there you don't want to go <laughs> there we go now we're in there there we go that'll look good there that'll be the same way when we get ready to set the legs the hind legs anyway we want the legs to be about the same here. So I'm going to get another piece of wire here. Go right up to the bottom of the foot. There's not a lot there. They don't have much for pads and stuff. Just go right under the skin till you hit your foam leg. And just follow that baby right back into the body. I hit the body here, so... See what it looks like from this side. I think that'll work. We got that the feet. What we're going to do here is we're going to take this rabbit head and we're going to push it. We're going to go ahead and get a piece of wire in this. I'm going to use a little heavier wire here. I want to get down there. I said we're going to go ahead and go, go like this. So I want to go ahead and put that right straight down through there into the body. Like that. Then you can cut that off, and you can always pull that out a little bit. And that way your your wire will be beneath your level. Now we got this here. We got our bottom here. Gonna be just like this here. And get our feet looking natural. But now we're gonna. We're just going to work on the eyes a little bit, get those set up. and anyway, We're going to go ahead and pull this up so we get right in the corner there. Then we're going to put a pin in there. Then we're just going to go ahead and a rabbit's got kind of rounded eyes. And they bulge just a little bit out from the head. I think it's because they're scared to death all the time. They can see all the way around is what it is. You see that? And then I'll paint that eye black. And <laughs> see the difference there? We got one eye done. The other eye isn't looking so hot, is it? We'll I'll put the, some of that clay back up underneath there. Okay. I'm going to get a pin in the corner here. Okay, got one right here. I'm 
I want to make sure the eyes are level all the way across. I'm going to clean them up a little bit here. So I can see what I'm doing. I want to have a little bit of an eyebrow. I want the eyelid, eyebrow, eyelashes down. Then you can put a few more pins in there to hold them in place. I want to make sure that they look about the same. I don't want one bug-eyed and one... I can just set it in there a little ways and... Okay, now what we're doing is we're setting the... We're going to get this, uh, the lips and nose the bottom lip we'll tuck him up in there get the top lip same way on this side Go ahead and get this bottom lip up in here. Then we're get this tucked up in here. Top and bottom. Well. At the bottom here, we'll make sure we get that, get enough there. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this top lip and bring it over and get that underneath. Now, we're going to do the nose here. We slotted out that form for the nose. We're going to get that nose in there good. After all, that's what kind of makes a bunny a bunny. Is a cute little nose. like that and get this other side like that too and get this nose here up in there same way here on this side get it nice and tight in there Same and I want to put a pin in here. It'll dry a little bit, so. You don't want too many gaps in that. Anyway, we got that pin pretty good. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get him on a something that I can Piece of foam. Let's see what we got here. We gotta have some wire. 
Okay, we got some right here. Okay, we'll put a piece of wire right up, right up the rear end here in the bottom, up into the form, and then we're going to set this right down on here. Get yourself straight now. Then we're going to go ahead and pin these feet in where they should go. Go ahead and use bigger pins for these. Just like, just go right through there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now I've used a lot of factory forms, I call them, that they're made out of. This here is a lot of work, but I've used a lot of those and you still end up having to cut them apart to put them together so you can get your stuff to fit right. One of you sit with their feet real close together. Brush his bunny out just a little bit. He's uh, he's looking a little bit rough. Anyway, we got us a comb and brushes. Anyway, so in here and hold his ears in the position I want. I'm working at the eyes, making sure they're right across from each other here. I want to make sure that it's all puffed up the same along here. Okay, that'll do us till, uh, I think what I'm going to do, we'll card the ears here. I found some screening material that I, I'm going to use to card these ears. I'll put a slight bend in it. Let me move this up a little. And we're going to go ahead and uh, put this in the ear. Let me cut a little bit of this off. We'll cut this one off, be the same length. We'll bend that too. Then we'll go ahead and put one of these inside the ear and then one on the outside of the ear. And then we'll put a paper clip in there to keep that. And they'll, they'll dry out pretty good that way. Just go ahead and bend your screen or cardboard, real light cardboard or something. And that way you'll have a nice crisp ear when it's all said and done.
Oh, well, your ears are carded and that can start drying. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a misting bottle. I'm gonna mist this guy and then I'm gonna blow dry him a little bit. I can get his arms here straight. <laughs> there we go. Get some of this wire going the right way. Okay. I'm gonna mist him and blow dry him. Just get some of the hair up on him. And then uh, we'll see what he looks like later. Alright, we're back. I've got this little guy mounted up. Got him about where we want him. Uh, I use a little air here just to blow the hair and fluff it up. Got the eyes looking alright. I'm just fluffing up his hair so when he dries It'll look good. It'll look nice and fluffy. And we'll use a little warm air too. real fluffy because they, they just kind of got a puffy face on them he's starting to get his spring hair so not as fluffy as some that would be out in the, you know in the middle of the winter looks pretty good. We'll keep adjusting him as he's drying. It'll only take a day or two to dry. They really dry fast, so. So it looks good in the mount somewhere. I'll put him maybe with a coyote sneaking after him or something like that, or a fox. That's a rabbit. Let me uh, zero in here, see if we can catch him, uh, see what he looks like here. Oh. We'll do some detail around, detail around the eyes when they're dry. I think he'll look all right. I'm gonna pin that tail up so he's he's got his little fluff is standing up there. We'll go ahead and get a pin and do that right now. You can see his tail here. We want we want him to look like a cotton tail. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that right in there. There you go. You got your cotton tail. Well, this is about it. You can finish, uh, I'll finish the eyes up tomorrow or something, and we'll be all said and done. We're going to clean the eyes up a little bit. Q-tip. That'll clean some of that clay up on there. Let me see what we got on the nose here. Looks good. Everything looks pretty darn good. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the corner of the eye here. And you're just going to get a little black paint. i got a real fine brush here. And we're just going to paint right around the eye here to hide some of the white that's showing from the clay and that.
this side. on that eye, so. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Kind of a fluffy little rabbit. Anyway, I'm going to check his, his nose here. Looks, I'm just going to get some of the clay out of there. He's good to go. The way he sits on. Uh, a wet Q-tip. Clean that nose up a little. Thanks for watching.